Sue has a question. She says, I work in a company that provides field services and we're facing challenges in efficiently managing field reports and customer service requests. I'm interested in developing a custom application using Power Apps that allow field workers to easily submit reports, access customer information, and update service statuses in real time. Can anyone provide insights into how to start building such an app? Additionally, what are the key considerations for ensuring the app is user friendly, especially for our staff who are not very tech savvy? Sure. Once, again, not a small question. <laughs> one, one suggestion I would make is to, to kick it off. I've done this before um, as a project, and it was basically just using Power Automate along with Microsoft Forms. Um, yes. And it, it's, it's already integrated. Um, you When you go to Automate and you set up the app, you can actually, there's an option to include a Microsoft Form uh, within the app and be able to design that form just like you would any other form. Um, so that would be the place where they could, you know, actually fill out that information, get updates on that information, but then it goes, you take the Power App and you'd have to go back. You'd have to have some kind of database back end um, or, you know, something that could collate that data because you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be entering data. Uh, so you would have to integrate maybe a Azure SQL instance or, uh, you know, uh, even some kind of data lake or something uh, to, you know, on, on premises SQL. I'm not sure how you would set it up, um, mm -hmm. but it can all be done through, uh, through the Power Apps. Uh, not, you know, Power Automate is part of it, um, but Power Apps is what really drives that, so. Yeah, well, yeah. but I, isn't that Dynamics? Isn't that the customer service? It is, but Dynamics it's, is a separate piece, and Dynamics actually costs a lot more money than Power Power Apps does. Um, yeah, I always wonder though: it is is it worth it, it to have to develop? How much it's going to cost you to develop? Plus, something that's something that's brand a, new. Yeah, but, but Dynamics is also a full CRM, right? So yeah. you're not talking about something that does a specific task. You're talking about something that can do like a thousand different things um, mm -hmm. as a CRM. And I don't know if they want to go, if they want to go that far. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, try and keep it simple. I, I would suggest using just power apps. Well, I guess yeah, mine absolutely. would start power out. Apps. Let's let's document what the requirements are, because do they even need power apps? Because I built a very similar thing. I'll, Previously, and I didn't even use Power Apps. Use Power Automate. Use Microsoft Forms, SharePoint lists. They had tablets. What is there? There's a scenario we're missing. They're ultimately mm -hmm. saying I need Indeed. to go to Power Apps. I don't know if they do. I think there's a whole lot more information, and they need to start by building out the requirements, what's mm -hmm. in those forms, then see with the tools that you do not have to do major development on, does it fit the bill, and then progress from there. Because I feel like they're just jumping into the deep side of the pool and kind of, you know, instead of wading into that. Again, this is one of those the, we need we need more information the, type of uh, type of questions because, I mean, literally, I don't know, old school here. Um, you could do all this in Access, so if you wanted to, you could basically set up forms <laughs> in Access and do it that way. So there's there's a hundred different ways you could slice it. The difference between forms and Power Apps is whether or not you need interactivity. If you just need to push information into the system then the form solution with Power Automate to, you know, to put it all into the right places in SharePoint is fine. But if you need interactivity, if you need to be able to look up existing ones as well, then you're going to want to switch back to Power Apps on a Canvas app. Um, and I noticed in, if, if you want to go an extra step further and you don't want to have to use the Power Apps app on your devices, um, there is a new, feature i want to say it's called wrap maybe where it will save it to native ios and android apps that you can then put in the store and the end users can download onto their devices uh, directly as their own app as well so all good information all good and reasonable possibilities are available from what all of the speakers have said and it's all right uh, but regardless of what tool or platform you're going to decide on, you're going to need to have some type of data model that's more complicated than it need, than it really is that reflects the requirements 
that the users in the field are going to have to capture. So I would suggest as a starting point, do something very simple that you don't have to invest any time into Power Apps yet or any of the other solutions yet. Maybe use a Microsoft list and just start to lay out what the right columns would look like, just like you would in Excel to match that requirement, meet that requirement. And there's some built-in native capabilities inside of the list where you can update the form, you can move the columns around to have a flow of the business process. You can add dynamic rules. You could do things that can grow with you. But before you get into the tool, to find the requirement, the requirement should drive what that data model looks like. Regardless of the solution you go to, you're going to have a place to store the data. You're going to need a place to store the data. So you need that data model. So start with the data model and let that be the driver behind whatever you decide. And there's, you know, time to maturity, like today, list, tomorrow, power apps. A year from now, hey, let's go dynamics. So there, there's growth and there's opportunity through it. I haven't had any experience with it, but would there be anything that comes with teams for frontline workers that would be a solution for this? Because that came to mind as Christian, you were describing what she was needing. Uh, I don't know what teams for frontline workers won't allow you to do, but if you can add a list as a tab or any other app that is built, then you would think you'd be able to use that as your delivery platform. But um, internal to frontline workers, like what the building blocks are, I think they're just going to come in the Teams apps that we we love and use every day. Yeah, yeah, that's actually what I was thinking. If you um, so, if you use the dashboard with Connect Viva Connections that ties into Teams, mm -hmm. um, we've actually done that for some of our clients where we've used that dashboard and put um, buttons that go to forms or um, information there, just so that they can see it right there on their phone and it gives them exactly what they need. They just click on the button, do what they need to do. Uh, and like Norm was saying, make it super simple where they can do something easily and then just kind of grow from there. Again, we could keep talking, but are we adding value? Uh...